talk about scheduling things in, making things a priority. The gentleman out there, he swims every morning down Langland Bay. That's why it's really important for him to get going. He sets him up for the day, he feels cold at the time, but he gets in there, he starts feeling better. How many of you want to start exercising, but say, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next month or even next year? What you're doing is putting off a better future. What about if you're struggling to just to walk around at the moment, and many of you do, if you carry more weight than you should have, or your fitness is not there, or you're struggling to breathe, you're putting off a better quality of life. What if you've got kids and grandkids and that life with them, active life, is put off? What about the elation of walking into a mountain, walking up a mountain, walking up a hill, going on holiday up a mountain, you can't keep up with the kids? What life are you putting off? So every time you schedule things in, you're scheduling a better life, a better energy, a better level of drive and enthusiasm. But every time you put off your exercise and eating right, you're putting off that future that could be yours and your family. Most of you watching this, your family is the most important thing. So why are you putting off a better life for them? Why are you in terms of activity? There's nothing like that elation of getting on your bikes this time of year when the weather's starting to get a little bit nicer. There's nothing like that elation of doing that, having family time. What if you're um, even 20 years of age now and you're struggling to do those things? By scheduling in your appointments, I say this all the time, I love my dentist and all those people, but nobody really enjoys going to the dentist a hell of a lot, but we schedule it in to relieve pain, and then the pain goes. What are you doing today to schedule in your new lifestyle, schedule in your healthy eating? If you go in that supermarket or local shops, wherever, every single day and you put in white bread, you put in your processed food, your processed hams, your processed bacon, your processed drinks, you know, 40% of your calories, if you're struggling with your weight, can call, come from your fizzy drinks. Are you really going to accept that as part of your life? You've got to get rid of them and take responsibility. Don't put off the life you could have by feeling better. Some, when you're a kid, you're 12, 15 years of age, you get up, you're feeling amazing every day, you've got loads of energy, you want to play football, you want to play rugby, you want to play cricket. Don't leave that life behind. Don't leave the possibilities behind because of your lifestyle, because of those processed foods, because of the lack of exercise <coughs> that's currently in your life. Our lifestyles dictate that we don't have to move around more. We're playing computer games, we're going to work in the car, we don't do much in work physically anymore. A lot of people work hard, but you don't work physically. So that combination then, when you come home and you're stressed out, you want a bottle of wine, you want a beer, you want a takeaway, it's only adding to the malaise and the struggles to come in your life. You know, I work with people who work in surgeries and unfortunately they see lots of people who are ill every day because of their lifestyle. It's the number one cause. You know, you see those horrible adverts at the moment. Obesity is one of the biggest things you can do something about. Apart from smoking, you can do something about your obesity that will lead to long-term illness, which you don't want in your life. I urge you now today to schedule something in. Put in your diary, buy your diary, it's going to be cheap in a bargain shop. Schedule in three sessions a week in an exercise in a positive environment. If you can't do it at home, because a lot of people buy bikes to the house and they end up as coat hangers, you never use them. You buy those balls and you never know how to use them. Schedule time in with somebody who's going to coach you to another level, to take you up to a place where you know you can go. What time in your life are you really going to get serious about your health, creating those meaningful things? Five things. Time with your kids is going to be more enjoyable. What about avoiding a serious disease in the future? What about living, doing better at your job? Maybe launching a business. The energy you're going to need for that is going to be incredible. So you've got to do those things. Do, what about meeting, getting the relationship you really want? Meeting somebody who needs a lot of energy from you and positivity. And what about hanging out with those people? I say all the time, get rid of those negative people. Hang out with those positive people who are going to lift you up to a higher place. Schedule all these things in. Buy your diary, just a little book, and see what you can do. It starts today. Schedule it in. Don't talk about it. Don't talk. Yeah, maybe one day. That old saying about the, the town of someday leads to a, 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 a... The road to someday leads to a place called nowhere. That's where you're going to end up. Schedule in your change of lifestyle right now. Come on.